Hungry Fans, and welcome back to the channel. Today I am here with the final match recreation of round number four in the Guinness Six Nations. A humongous matchup between Scotland and Ireland. Really is a big, big game. Of course, Ireland have not lost a game yet. Scotland picking up their first loss against France in the previous round. Here are the 15s in the background. And yeah, before we get stuck in, please do drop a like if you enjoy this content. Leave a comment down below and give me your predictions for the game and how you see it going. And of course, if you haven't already, please do move that subscribe button. So, Scotland got us off underway and have instantly forced a nice little turnover there. Van der Merve on the ball. Ali Price trying to squeeze through. Win it, thank you. Van der Merve picking it up in the scrum half position, not sure why. Can we get one more out? We cannot. We had the man overload and it just did not happen. Let's try again. Oh, terrible from Price. Great to an Irish man, but we have won it back. Uh, let's put a little box kick in. And it's gone disastrously wrong, of course. Like it always does on this game. Unless we can win the line out, which we do. So we've got the ball again. Hamish Watson. Lovely pass to Van der Merby. Shrugged the player off, but he has gone down. Kicked along. Nice from Ali Price, but unfortunately going nowhere again. This time Van der Merve. Out to Richie. Yeah, the real life match is going to be interesting to say the least. Not sure which way it's going to go and how to call it. Oh, again. Oh, look at that for a bullet pass. Ah, oh, it's going to be hands in the ruck. As usual. Get ourselves into a good position and the penalty costs us. Although that kick didn't go very far. But the only thing good about us is our line out play. I mean, is that a high tackle? Probably. Van der Merve, what are you doing, son? Tackles on this game, just nothing. Oh, more hands in the ruck. And that is going to be Sexton knocking one over. Five minutes before the first half finishes to put Ireland ahead in the game. Penalty made. And yeah, not really sure. I mean, I think Ireland are probably rightly favourites, obviously, to win this game. But Scotland at home these days seem to be a different beast. Oh, advantage. Scotland, what has happened there? Not sure. Random Merv, like, can't you just take it past one player? Xander Ferguson. Advantage over. Finn Russell passing it straight. To an Irish player, did we not have the advantage? Yeah, Scotland at home are a different beast these days, but Ireland are rightfully the best team in the world and probably the most likely. I mean, it's theirs to throw away now, isn't it, the Six Nations? So, handoff galore, tackles. Is he in touch? Not sure, but we will be now. I mean, I was trying to. I was trying to just walk the ball into touch and it wouldn't let me. Uh, 
and it is now giving us a terrible position. Box kick that out, finish the half, get that pressure away. Scotland nil, Ireland three. Yeah, as a prediction in real life. What am I going to go for? I mean, as an English man, I almost sort of want Scotland to win. And then that gives us a humongous matchup in Ireland. Wow, that was a rocket arm. Oh, it's deflected off an Irish player. That's good. Yeah, I, 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 like I said, I kind of want Scotland to win. Setting up a huge blockbuster matchup against England. But I cannot see it. I think Ireland are going to win. I think it's going to be, like all games this weekend, I think it's going to be fairly close. Um, I think... It's a terrible pass there. Oh, an interception for Van der Merv. Can he get away? No, he cannot. Typical. Um, yeah, I'm thinking Ireland 33, Scotland 22. I mean, that doesn't sound close, but I think similar to Ireland's game against Italy, I think they are going to just pull away in the final stages of the game, show that class. And come away with the victory. Hands in the ruck again. The blue meter was over halfway. So we should have been able to extract that. Did not let us happen. And now we have got to defend a juicy line out inside our 22. Which again, we defend superbly. He is watching out to Van der Merve. Get him out of touch. That's probably wrapped up the game for Ireland. Slippery hands from Scotland. Johnny Sexton with a huge out wide conversion attempt now. Just out of interest. Let's see how he does. Straight down the middle from the touchline. And that is why Sexton is one of the best around, even at his age. Oh, Terrible. Finally, get him out into touch. Give us something to do inside their f half. They're just not giving us any time whatsoever. And that is a great kick. Unfortunately for them, I back our line-out skills better than anyone at the minute. Ah, oh, can you... Ah, oh, again, sloppy play. It's going to cost us a try. Got it all to lose. So we're just throwing the ball around like a bunch of amateur players. And Ireland are comfortably in the lead. Let's see what we can do as far as a juicy bomb kick from Finn Russell goes. It's causing a bit of trouble. And we've got the ball. Inside or just on the edge of the 22. Can we salvage some pride? Probably not because they're going to turn it over and kick it into touch, are they? No. So we're still alive and kicking. Finn Russell looking to barge through. I mean, there's not a lot we can really do here. Crunching tackle. They've turned it over, and that has got to be that. 
although they are still trying their best to give us a chance. Ireland kick to touch, and they will come out of this game 17 to nil winners. Will that be the same as what happens in real life? Of course, tune into the Six Nations this weekend to find out. If you've enjoyed this video, please do drop a like, leave a comment down below, and give me your predictions for this matchup this weekend. And of course, if you haven't already, please do move that subscribe button. Thanks a lot for watching. Big weekend ahead of the Six Nations. I'll see you in the virtual scrum. Man from Bristol. Take two shots of the ting. Come let it bang like a pistol. Girl in the party, blowing the ting, just like a whistle. Yeah, they love their god, but where we're from, it's more like a crystal. Cause man are from Bristol. Man are from Bristol. Take two shots of the ting. Come let it bang like a pistol. Girl in the party, blowing the ting, just like a whistle.